Hey guys, welcome to Universal Atlanta Tour. Today we're gonna to give you my top 10 tips how to make your day awesome here at Universal Studios Florida and also Islands Venture. So come on with me, a very awesome, epic time here at Universal. First things first, when coming to Universal, you wanna think what type of ticket prices you actually wanna get and also your best value and also get it online ahead of time because when you're actually here at the parks paying at the windows, you're actually paying more for the ticket at the windows over here. So online will save you money and also save you time so you go directly into the park. And this is also a great example. Say if you don't have a ticket ready, you gotta go in one of these booths and then go into the sign so a lot of your day may be already wasted. Okay, so now and it was actually very fast. We do have photo validation here. It's pretty fast. But now coming inside the park, continuing on in, one of the biggest apps when you actually come in here and go ahead and download it before is a Universal Orlando app because Universal Orlando app will give you almost everything you need to know, park operation hours, the park map itself because the maps have been discontinued, wait times, show times, mobile dining orders. You can also buy tickets and also extra stuff like Halloween Horror Night stuff. Now also when coming into Universal is for our Islands Adventure, we do have Universal Express Passports over here as well. You can actually use this and buy pass lines by 50% of the wait time or less. And also with the Universal Express Pass, you can also buy that on the app as well and save more time at the gate and just do more stuff in the parks as well. And also shows as well, like the Born Spectacular, like that also has Express Pass, which is also pretty cool. Our next thing is, what is the best thing to wear at a theme park? Mostly it's a preferred choice what you want to wear. Some people like to wear shirts, some people like to wear tank tops. And here at Universal, and also maybe you're going to go to Disney, or maybe you're going to go to SeaWorld. One of the best things to wear in the summer is maybe like a tank top, or just like, just wear a nice comfortable shirt. Me, I just wear black all the time, just because like, most things I wear is black, because I like the designs. But, I um, mean personally, shorts, gym shorts, and also, if you're coming in the summer, be prepared for rain, because obviously, I don't know if you can hear or not, but it's about to downpour right now. It's a, usual afternoon thunderstorms around 3 30 so it's about the downpour in here so be prepared for that some people like to wear crocs i do have a pair of crocs myself i actually just recently got last year and i'm getting to like it a little more but i mostly wear tennis shoes but if, with your attire with your wardrobe i would honestly probably bring a small little umbrella you can actually purchase here at universal and also another thing is kind of like with what you want to bring to universal a lot of people like to bring a backpack some people just like to wear a fanny pack. They're both great. Me, sometimes I bring both and I just like put the fanny pack inside and it's like, hey, if I'm gonna go ride, say, Hagrid's or Mummy or Gringotts, I can wear a fanny pack. But what you cannot wear, it's about to rain, is um, at Rip Ride, Hulk, and also Velocicoaster. You cannot have anything that do have lockers as well because they do have metal detectors for your own safety. So also here at Universal Islands, one of my most favorite things here is the Coca-Cola Freestyle Cup. This is actually HHN30, but it's like my most favorite cup. But honestly, this is like one of the best deals that Universal does. Disney does not do this, but that's honestly a great deal for the whole family. You can just like share a cup if you want. But the more cups you buy, the cheaper it gets, which is pretty awesome. And so you want to bring the cup next time, you can do that. It's like actually really cheap. It's like a... Uh, $12 to activate the cup and it's actually really awesome because you think about it if you're buying a bottle of coke or say a cup of coke it's like four to five dollars every time so like just like paying like one price of twelve dollars so if you already have the cup honestly not a bad deal and even though we're not at Disney on our phones all the time looking at like lightning lanes and whatnot still something very important to have at a theme park is a portable battery charger like this is actually a really great investment i got this at walmart for like ten dollars it's honestly a really good charger i think it's like the on brand or something like that but it's actually a lot of good brands like anchor and whatnot but if you don't feel like actually buying one you can actually rent one here at the park i think it's the, called the uh, the fuel rod brand and like some people actually really do like them me personally i like have my own always have a charge up no matter where i'm at so also at Universal, they actually have a lot of stuff for the kids. Uh, that's not even thinking about Epic Universe next year. They have a lot of stuff. And right behind me is, of course, the brand new DreamWorks Land. So let's actually go inside and talk about it. Okay, so here we are coming into DreamWorks Land. It's a brand new land here at Universal. It used to be Woodward Packer Kids Zone, but now we themed. We have three properties over here. We do have Shrek, Kung Fu Panda, and, of course, Trolls. 
So just in this land, it's actually really awesome to have some food offerings. There's Shrek's Swamp Snacks. Love the theming. And also do have some character meet and greets. Gabby's Dollhouse, DreamWork characters, usually King Julian's out there. And of course, right over here is Shrek's Cottage over here. You can eat Shrek, Fiona, and of course, Donkey. And also Theman's really fun in here. You can actually see Shrek's footprints in the ground with his kids as well. And while over here in the swamp, here is Shrek's Swamp. It actually across that says stay out. But yeah, pretty fun thing. It has some slides and stuff. And also an audio animatronic up there of Pinocchio. How fun is that? We also have some themed stroller parking. A little ogre right there. Okay, so actually now in the Trolls area, really awesome theme over here. And of course, here is Trolls Treats. This is actually just a soft surf stand, but the theming is super fun for this. And of course, behind it, we do have the Trolls Troll Coaster originally, the Woodpecker Nuthouse Coaster. And last but not least, here is Poe's Kung Fu Training Camp. This is actually a pretty cool little interactive area. Now, some of the water elements are not working over here at the moment, but it still has some interactive stuff, like you have the Gong of Resound and Renaissance over here. Basically, you just pull this lever and actually this whole like four like vibrates. It's actually kind of fun. And also coming to the back, this is actually where the ball pit used to be. It says Poe Live. It's an interactive experience with Poe. Help him babysit his cousin Ling Ling and ask him any question you like. Basically, this is like Turtle Talker Crush, but it's outside and it's like open. Let's actually take a look at it. And this is what it looks like inside. It's actually kind of nice. Also, have some really amazing fans in here doing some work. Feels nice. And here is Kung Fu Panda right behind the window. And as we exit, we actually have some cool theming. Here he is up there, the Dragon Warrior himself, Skadoosh. And also over here we have some stroller parking, a little baby panda. And here's the theming over here. It's pretty nice. And also wrapping up DreamWorks Land, we actually have a little water fountain over here, Poppy and Branch. And right, actually right outside the brand new show, DreamWorks Imagination Celebration. It's honestly a really nice show for the whole family. Kids will enjoy it. it has all the properties. It's super awesome. And also has Express Pass. All right, guys. Well, that will do it from Universal Orlando. We're going to Universal Studios Florida. Now, all these tips and tricks actually do apply to right over here, Universal Studios Florida, and also next door, Islands of Adventure. Now, coming up very soon, I'll have a video how to do both parks in one day and it is very achievable as well but i hope you all guys did enjoy this video trying to do sport style videos for y'all but anyways if you guys did enjoy this video, a big old thumbs up and subscribe for more future content i will see you guys in the next one thank you so much for watching